Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Today I have to review the Ocean Digital WR-828F Stereo Internet Radio. This thing is cool. You can get this radio for a total of $79.99 shipped from Amazon. Here's the box it came in. Ocean Digital Stereo Internet Radio. Picture the device. Wi-Fi connection with FM. Excess more than 26,000 radio stations worldwide. 2.4 inch color display with weather, that's nice. Dual alarm clock with sleep timer. Hear the difference. Cool. Wi Fi connection with FM. Access more than 26,000. Oh, it's the same information. <laughs> Repeated on the back. Okay. So you get the idea. That's what the box was. That's what's inside the box the radio, the manual, and the adapter. Let's go ahead and show you what was inside the box. So inside the box, you're greeted with the adapter. Pretty basic fare. I believe it's a switching one. There's the information on there. Okay. And we got some paperwork. This was really nice to get a quick start guide uh, to get started with hooking your radio to the router. Um, getting used to these keys took a while. If you take your time and learn them uh, and master them, you'll love this radio. At first it is kind of difficult, but once you get the hang of up and down and back and forth, you'll have no issue at all. So great, glad they had this, this really helped. And then the user manual. So this is really uh, concise to the point. It shows the different elements of the radio. And we'll kind of go over those. Different button features. And some of the menu choices and what the radio can do. All right, so I will try to touch on most of these in this video. And if not, we'll do a follow-up video. Okay, so there's the manual. Let's bring out the device. Okay, I may have to bring this down a little bit. Okay, so this is it. It's cool. It looks like a little mini clock radio. So if you notice, um, we have some speakers and stuff. So yeah, speaker on the side, buttons on top, color display in the front. So let's go over dimensions real quick. We have a width of four and three quarter inches, a height of three inches, and a depth at the bottom here of three and three quarter inches. Okay, size comparison. I brought out the companion radio, the CC Wi Fi. Now I don't know if I can get that into view. What a big difference that is. <laughs> and yeah, look at that. It's a pretty amazing difference in size. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give you some <laughs> details on this. But th this little radio really does a lot for the money. So. All right, so we'll put this guy back, and let's go over to features. I'm gonna zoom her back down. Straighten this out here. Okay, so on the as you saw on the left hand side, we have a speaker. This is about uh, I measured out of one and three quarter inches. It could be a little bit bigger, hard to say, but it sounds really good because you have another one on the right side. Yay! So it's stereo, though it's hard to hit the separation because it's such a small radio. You know, if you have it in a distance, it kind of fills the room real nice. So, um, this display, 2.4 inches, color, and we'll turn it on a little bit. Top of the radio, we have some buttons. Uh, we have a home power button, the alarm clock function, the, I call this my favorites button because it looks like a favorites button on a browser, but it's your preset mode. We have a left and right arrows to go through the menus. You do a lot of menu diving with this. But once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty fast. OK is like your enter key. Here we have the snooze button, which has little notches so you can feel it in the dark. And then we have the volume up and down. And then choices in the menu up and down. So it functions as a couple things. So, All right, so you saw that. Front, Ocean Digital, the bottom's got four little rubber feet so it doesn't slide around. And on the back, it has a serial number and it goes over some of the uh, information on the model. Here we have an auxiliary in jack, which works really well for your iPods, MP3 players, whatever you want to plug into it. Headphone out and DC in. This is where you hook, plug that AC adapter in. And this is really nice, five volts out. So you can actually charge your MP3 player with the device. So that's that's really handy. Glad that they put, you know, added that little option there. And this here is your FM wire, because it says an FM tuner built in 
So for those who say this Wi-Fi radio is no good if the power, you know, Wi-Fi is down, but it's still good because you got FM. <laughs> Um, you can still have a radio, so that's kind of nice. And this wire is a 40-inch wire if you're curious of how long that is. All right, so let me set this down here. And what we're going to do is, this is going to be kind of fun to review. I'm going to uh, set this up, and then we'll turn it on and show you how that goes. So give me one moment, and we're going to fade to black here. And we're back. All set up nice. It has a really high gloss front. It'd be difficult to film it, so I have it kind of on a horizontal plane here, uh, propped up. So this will work out really well. You may not hit, see me hit the keys, but I'll explain what I'm doing as we're navigating through here. So I've plugged it in, and I'm welcomed with an analog clock, which you can change to a digital clock. If you look up there, there's the date. It self-sets itself, so once it uh, knows your location, it sets your time, date, and daylight savings time. Here you see it going to a weather forecast. And you can actually navigate the weather forecast to do different days when that's showing. So those little uh, side arrow buttons, do you see them there? Those are your options. So if you remember from the book, which I'll just bring back out here, they talk about those buttons in detail, um, where you have that the OK button and the left and right buttons. So I'm going to use those to navigate. So we're going to go ahead and just show you what the weather mode is. So you're able to keep clicking, kind of shows you day by day, what to expect, high and low, weather forecast, pretty nice. And I believe there's quite a few um, things you can go through on this. That was day to day, and it goes back to the clock when it's done. So just a fun little thing, and it kind of, so when it sits here, it goes back and forth, weather, clock, weather, clock. So I think you can turn that off. I like this, though. I leave it on. So we're going to go ahead and turn the radio on. And it remembers the last station you were on, which is nice. And this is a local, so I can listen to my AM radio. <laughs> so you have that front button, that snooze button, which is your up and down volume. So I'm going to use that to turn it down. Because I you don't want any copyrights if there's music playing. So I just want to show you how you navigate first. So when the radio is on and you're in this mode, you can hit the home or power button, tap that once. And if you look here, there's a countdown. If you don't make a menu choice, it'll go back to that station you were on. I'll just show you that. And that's gonna go right back to the station. Okay, so you, you gotta kinda make your choices and start moving the keys. I, I mean, I like it. Oh, and here's a signal strength indicator for your Wi-Fi, handy. And then the top mode there was telling you you were in the iRadio mode, and it's showing you the clock, too. Also, when you're playing a program, a lot of times it'll say the song that's playing and some information, which is great. All right, so we're going to go ahead and navigate to a menu. So we're going to show you what's in the menu. So here we have Internet Radio. I'm going to use those buttons to go side by side. We have Media Center. In there, we can play um, anything off our universal plug-and-play servers. The FM Radio. If you can see that, it's kind of hard with this screen and recording, but um, it says FM. We can go to FM radio there. Information center, um, where we'll find information about the system. We have auxiliary in jack, pretty basic there. You just plug it in. That's how you get to the mode. Configuration, there's a lot of settings in there. We probably won't touch on. You probably don't need to know a whole lot. There's just a couple things I might, if I have time, we'll go and venture into. But I really want to get into um, some of the radio options. This is local radio. And that's also available in the iRadio icon. Here's my media U, and that's very important. I'm going to talk about that too. So let's go to the internet radio, and I'm going to use the enter key there. So I use those, the enter, the OK button, and then those back and forth keys on that back side. And the snooze button's only used for up and down. So now we're in the iRadio mode, and I've got to go back. So to go back, just hit my home button again, and we're going to go back into that. So you can hit these to select what you want to see. Um, I'm just going to back up here. So okay, so the back brings you back forward, back a menu, and then forward goes into the menu. Okay, I just wanted to show you up and down here what your choices are. So service, um, you don't have to worry about history. It's kind of nice. The last 10 things you did, it's recorded. So if you forgot to preset a radio station, go into history and you'll find it. I've had to do that a couple of times. Local radio, you saw that local radio choice. Um, 
on the main menu. It's also in the sub menu here. And then there's my favorites, which is kind of like that bookmark. And you can go in there and choose your favorite stations that you set. You can manually do this and you can have up to 250 favorite stations. So it's nice, but it's a lot of menu diving to go th scroll through 250 stations. Trust me, that's not fun, but there's a better way to do it. Um, but if you didn't want to use a computer, that's how you would do it without using a computer. And this will get every single station that the computer does with the, my, the media U, and I'll show you that. So it's nice. You don't have to worry about having a computer to get the same exact stations. So let's see what they're talking. Most of the changes brought on by tax reform, including the child tax credit and the higher standard deduction, won't kick in until it's time to file next year. I'm Ann Cates. Tax reform may mean some earners Pretty loud there. more next year. <laughs> I'm Ann Cates. The new okay. legislation cut individual So let's uh, explore. So with the radio, you have those options. Um, the big thing is the 26,000 stations. So um, we're going to go ahead and dive into those menus. So we're going to go back. Oh, yeah, and if you go forward, um, when you're on that station... You can add it, you can auto scan, you can play. There's different things you can do. Let me just get out of that. Go back to the station. Okay, when you're in the station, it's showing the mode, MP3 mode, and it's uh, rating. 80 is pretty good, kilobits per second. I've seen 96. I haven't seen 128 yet, but uh, some are. Stations are the highest, so that's a good good thing to know. And the fidelity is good. And a lot of times, you know, stereo broadcast, which is great. Um, so that's good to know that that's there. And I don't know if there's any more information. Oops back to the station and see if there's any more information there nope okay so we're gonna go back and as you see here this is your favorites and you can scroll up and down and I have a few in there already these are the ones I just put in um, on my own I just kind of like was finding stuff and so I got in here so here's I think a radio talk show in Ireland Let's see what they're talking about Random ship's engine made in Scotland in 1887. It was an advanced type of reciprocating engine with pistons moving up and down. In okay, force. some informative things going on there. All right, so we'll just do a quick little. Let's find a station with this setup. So, if you had no internet, uh, no internet. I mean, if you had no computer, and you just have internet. What you would do is, like, if you, I guess, if you took this traveling with you, this is how it would work. Uh, you'd connect to the router or wherever you're at. And then you would uh, you'd navigate with your presets, and and if you didn't want to use presets, you want to explore. So you explore. So we're going to go ahead and do the backup here, and we're going to go down to radio station music, and we'll use that the these front the front snooze bar to do that, and we're gonna yeah. So I always think left and right. So they got it kind of backwards, you know. They did it with the volume down, volume up. So this is down, this is up. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and radio station music. Boom. Global Top 20. Um, there's genre, count, uh, country location, that's really nice. Um, highlight, so they got these choices here. So let's go ahead and pick a country. And the last thing we did, I remember having fun with this, we, we found an Aruba station. And I don't know, so let's just go, yeah, we might hit Hawaii there. Let's go North America. There's a lot in North America, so we have quite a few countries here so we're just going to see what we can find oh, there's Panama hey, let's go let's go to Panama let's see what's, what's Panama doing Panama top 10 all right let's do that <laughs> there's one all right let's see what it is um, sometimes they connect sometimes it doesn't it just depends on broadcasting Cool. So we just discovered a station. And if you wanted to save this, you're like, yeah, that's cool, Todd Bird, I want to save it. So you go to that uh, star button, and uh, you press that, press and hold it. And then it should... Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. See, that's the problem when I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so we, there it is right there. Press and hold. Okay, now it's going to let you put it where, you know, it's got this last slot, which is six. You can move it up and delete the other ones, but we're going to leave it on slot six. So you can see it's six of six, and when you add another one, it'll be seven of seven. So that's pretty nice. So hit OK to save it, and now it's in your presets.
So cool. So if we were to, let's see, other one, two, three, four, navigate to that. This is your favorites. Uh, there's uh, Hawaiian music there, which I'll probably get copyrighted. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go uh, uh, back into that mode. Come on. Okay, we're going to. Yeah, this is the fun part. Let's go back. Okay. So, favorites button. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, we can navigate here and we can select a station. BBC World Service. Um, I think this is French. I heard French last night. Sometimes it's English. Especially high. I mean, there were over 200 journalists here and speaking to people. Okay. So, that, that's just a, a good touch on the iRadio. You can do a lot. I mean, you saw all the countries. It's, it's just amazing. Um, stations are just going to blow your mind. And real quick, I want to show you. Um, we're going to go and hit the home button, internet radio. And we're going to go to that local radio, which is also on the main menu. And you can set this, which is nice. You can set it manually with the radio. You don't have to be online to do this part, which is great. This has all my Chicago stations. <laughs> and there's 164 of them. Yes. And there's even HD radio in its own little folder. So if we go in that folder, there's 37 HD channels. So, wow, this is really cool. Um, I don't, I just, there's so much here. Um, amazing. Uh, let's see what they're talking about on ESP 1000. So this is my local radio. It's really cool. So if I have bad reception, I can get them. Or if you're traveling with this, you'll have all your local stations wherever you're at. So really nice. <laughs> and add. All right, so we've covered the internet radio part. We do not need a computer. We have 250 presets. History is nice to use. You can find a lot of stations, have a lot of fun. It's a great. But to make your experience even better, I recommend this. Turn this down. There is a feature called Media U, and I think you saw that in here. So I'm going to go ahead and access that. Media U. Whoops. There it is. I gotta do these buttons quick enough, otherwise I get. All right. So positioning my hands. Um, so we'll go right here. Media U. My Media U. We're gonna access that. And in this mode, you have all these choices, and you set these up on a website. And the website's called www.media m e d i a y o u dot net. And you can go check it out right now. I don't think you have to have this radio to sign up. You go in there, you start a free account, and you can listen to all these internet radio stations. They're all available for free. You can browse them, search them, see what you think. I think it's awesome. You can open an account. You can have a, it all set up. And uh, the neat thing about this is you can add this radio to your account. And you just go in there and you they ask for the MAC address of this device, and you put it in, and it knows how to find it on the internet. And these changes you make on that MediaU account can be sent right to the radio. Awesome. Because what I do... I create my own folders and put in my own stations. I'm just going to show you really quick what I did. So we're going to go back to Media U, enter the mode, and we're going to go navigate um, to. Well, this is my local radio there too. Um, I find that the other one works better, so I use the other local radios. But favorite station, and in here, these folders I named. So Ambient, Canada. Classical, country, electronic, Hawaii, jazz. So I just wanted to show you. I have a friend in St. Louis, and I think you'll get a kick out of this. He sent me a bunch of stations on an email. So I pretty much found all the stations that he sent me. So I found 12 of them. So I'm able to listen to all the music he listens to in his town. In my town. It's great. That's public radio. Let's see what they're broadcasting on the public radio. St. Louis Public Radio. News. Identity. In pardoning Libby, Trump, who complains almost daily about leaks, is in the peculiar position of pardoning a man. Convicted so amazing! Of you you got to love that. Um, so for this video, not to go too long, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit the home button. Um, yeah, my media, you awesome. Go check it out. You'll see right away how cool it is. You don't like you don't even have that device yet. You can check it out and set it up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and.
Oops, it just takes me back. Um, we're going to go ahead and just navigate here. Um, I'm going to show you, I mean, FM radio is an FM radio. I don't think you really need to see it. It has RDS, though. Bonus. <laughs> that was so cool. Um, information center, you don't need to really see. That's for your stock and your weather. You can have stock quotes, too. So I'm going to configuration real quick. Configuration, these are some of the things in your configuration. Time display, if you want analog or digital. Um, you have uh, manage my media U account. So that's how you add the account to the radio. Uh, network, that's how you set up your network. Date and time, if you have to manually set it up. Mine always sets, you know, by this is 5 o'clock p.m. It's exactly the right time. Set your alarms. There's a timer. There's 17 languages, I believe. If I get down there. Yep. There's a dimmer mode. A display mode. Power management mode. Sleep timer. The buffer's really cool. It has a 2, a 4, and an 8 second buffer. I put on the 8 second buffer. Heck, and I don't mind waiting a few seconds more to, to buffer that. It's really nice. I've never had a dropout yet with this setting up weather where you're at. FM setup, there's a way to, um, uh, for reception capability, improve your reception with the FM. It's pretty nice. I think that's uh, the ability with stereo and not uh, doing stereo like a threshold. Let's see, we got local radio setup, playback setup for your playing your MP3s, device setup, equalizer. It has, I believe, a seven mode equalizer. Really awesome. Resume and power on. That's really nice. So I unplug it, plug it back in. It goes right to the station I left off on. Software update. Bonus. Reset the default. So yeah, a lot of options there. And again, you could probably find the manual online to kind of go through that. But I would spend and just bore you to death with all those features. But just remember, the best parts are the ones where you can find your find stations anywhere. I mean, and I want to let you know, this radio, you can find iHeart radio stations with it. Uh, CBS radio stations. So there's no extra like, you know, avenues you have to go to get them. It, it would let me find them. If, if it's on there, it's the service, it's there, which is really good. And then, of course, when you uh, find that station, it's cool how it puts the station art there. And uh, that, that's just really neat um, when it does that. This one doesn't particularly have one, but um, I thought that was neat that it had that ability. In the future of public radio. And then, of and course, the we can see, we can check one more thing. Which is, this is St. Louis Public Radio News. my media. It's, it's got the media center, so <clears throat> media center is always fun. We'll just see if mine's working, <laughs> and we'll end this with some Tatterbert Radio Tatterbert. Uh, let's see, up and down here. Music. Yeah, it doesn't play videos or pictures. I, I couldn't get that to play, or but I think it's mainly just for music. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my folders. That man told a House committee looking at and we'll see if uh, share music, see if Radio Totterbert's in there. There he is, Radio Totterbert. He's broadcasting. <laughs> yeah. So give us some uh, music we can play. Turn it up, rock it. Sounds really good. This radio, the Ocean Digital WR828F, gets a solid buy out of my book for 80 bucks. I love it. I mean, you can spend like 40, 50 bucks on a fancy clock radio. Why not get something a little step up, you know? And you got, got the world at your fingertips. You can listen to anything you want. Um, just amazing. You get the headphone out so I can hook up my FM transmitter too. And I can, you know, if I'm walking upstairs, I can put a radio on, whatever I was listening to. I love having that feature. Um, just uh, so small and compact, and it's so good <laughs> sounding. Yeah, this is this, this gets a buy all day long. It doesn't have a remote, but you know what? I don't think I need it. 
This is going to be like by my desk or you know, by my headboard. And it's going to be right there for me when I want it. So it's, it doesn't need to have a remote. And actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't like using remotes if I don't have to. So I like hands-on. And, you know, this isn't that difficult to figure out. So a lot of fun. This really is impressive. I'm very happy. It's well-built. The quality material seems really solid. Well thought out. Just a great device. I haven't witnessed any glitches with it either. Um, so that's another bonus. Not, not any glitches whatsoever. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoy this Wi-Fi radio... Whoops, bumping the camera. <laughs> uh, big thumbs up. I know you guys love these things. Some of you guys are like, oh, it's not a portable radio, and it's not this, it's not that. Well, I'll tell you what. Still, in an essence, a device that lets you listen to radio. Yeah, you can do it on a phone, or you can you know, put it to your Bluetooth speaker and all that. Well, hey, this is a dedicated device, and that's what I like about it. It's a box I can put anywhere and have it right there. I don't need to go search for my phone. You know, I don't have it glued to my hip. Uh, some people do, which is good for them, but I don't. I hate having my phone next to my hip. Um, I have my phone off in the corner somewhere, and I look for it when it rings. <laughs> That's how I like it. My wife, on the other hand, she has it. She's glued to it. She's always on Facebook, whatever. But not me. Um, I'm all about the radio itself, and I really love this. So uh, just enjoying every bit of these Wi-Fi radios. And I'm going to feature more, too, so be on the lookout. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you think. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And be prepared for more coming your way. Take care.